I clenched my stomach and curled up tighter in my blankets. It was that time of a month again. I attempted to find the most com comfortable way to sleep, but it was impossible. No matter what position I was in, I couldn't seem to get comfortable. I finally gave up and leaned against the couch cushions. I felt like crying. Hey, listener, are you okay? Kilo walked into the room. She's been like that for a while now, She and she won't talk to me, Gon said, putting down the manga he was reading. But since you're her boyfriend, you should know what's wrong, right? Kilo looked at you and sat down next to you. Kitten, what? I suddenly leaned your head. You moved your head from the couch cushions to Kilo's lap, surprising him. I'm dying, Kill. What do you mean by that? Kilo narrowed his eyes and brushed the hair away from your face. I'm going to bleed to death, Kilo. You stopped and you, st and you clutched your stomach tighter. Bleed? Where are you bleeding? Kilo looked worried. You brought your head off his lap and leaned against his shoulder. Kilo, do you even know what a period is? Both Kilo and Gon looked at you clueless. Like the thing that goes at the end of the sentence, Gon asked innocently. Kilo typed some stuff into his phone, and Gon watched as his eyes widen. Okay, I get it. Finally understanding. Cramps, right? You point to your stomach, and you nodded. Come on, Gon, let's go. Kilo said, before grabbing Gon's hand and walked out the door. You groaned as you walked as you watched your boyfriend leave out with his best friend, leaving you to die. You were feeling a little bit better and now was looking through your phone miserably, knowing the pain would be back soon. Hey, I'm back Kilo said, opening the door to see you chilling on the couch. He threw a bottle of pills at you. You barely was able to catch it. Painkillers. Take it. Take one or two of it before the crimes come back. Okay, he said. After he made sure to, he made sure you took your medicine. He walked over to the couch and sat down next to you. He was looking down at his phone for a while before you, he noticed you staring at him. What? You stared at him without saying anything for a couple more seconds before he scooted closer to you and used his arm to lay your head on his shoulder. That's the face you make when you want to hug me, he said. You smiled and wrapped your arm around him. He did the same. Me and Gon brought some ice cream, too, if you want some. Nah, I just want to be with you. All right, then. Kilo said before... And Kilo stayed with you until you felt better. Bonus. I still don't get it, Gon said, after Kilo had finished explaining to him what a period is. It's okay, Gon. It's not important, he said. It's basically a week of pure agony. You look terrible today, Kilo said, patting your head. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm fine now, thanks to you guys. You give him a soft kiss on the cheek, making Kilo a blush. Gon still did not understand, but he decided to leave his innocence alone. Hey guys, thank you for watching. This was basically like a fill-in video for the Kilo Not Safe For Work video. But it's still gonna come. I promise you it's coming. Back up, it's coming. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Um, I'm not sure when. Whatever I feel like posting. See you guys. Bye.